Anybody obsessed with pickleball? Uh, not I'm obsessed with the story. I'm obsessed with the story. The story, right? So UBS was out with a note yesterday saying that they think that pickleball could cost Americans medical costs up to five hundred million dollars in 2023. That's a range of two hundred fifty to five hundred million dollars. Essentially saying that the big part about this is that older people are playing pickleball, mm. who gets hurt more often in pickleball older people, so they're going to the hospital more, they're getting all sorts of injuries, and basically saying that the costs are gonna pick up and maybe there's an insurance play in here. I thought that was an interesting part of it right. when we talk about what it means for stock markets, but I mean, kind of just a crazy note, Tisha. It is a crazy note, it's a fun <laughs> note. You never wanna see people get hurt. That of course is not fun, right. but really just put, taking pickleball into a conversation that we haven't really thought about it, just in terms of what exactly this means for some of those insurers out there. The growth that they talked about in this note, and I know we've talked about yeah. the fact time and time again, pickleball, the fastest growing sport in America. They're expecting it to reach millions, but 150% jump in players right. to just over 22 million this year. My question though, is how many people used to go out and play tennis, maybe used to play other sports where you could get a similar type of injury, and they're not spending as much time doing that now, and they're playing pickleball. So if you use that line of logic, then maybe that number isn't as significant in terms of what that upside cost could potentially be, but certainly it's an important thing to think about, and it's gonna be interesting if we hear any of these insurers maybe start talking it's about it. It's the same thing when you talk about pe more people going to the orthopedic, right? Yeah. Because yeah. there was a break in that over COVID when you think about people weren't going for an ankle sprain. Right. They either weren't going outside, especially people that would be in an elderly home playing pickleball. They probably mm -hmm. weren't going outside. There's a lot of restrictions. And then they also just weren't going for minor injuries. When you look at on your screen right now, you're talking about a wrist injury, knee, ankle. There are things that right there, maybe you don't go to if you don't have to go, right? right. So I think that's part of the story too, is that people are just going back to orthopedics more. Mm. And so then you're getting insurance spending up with it. Doing more physical activity, certainly. But also too, I think the question is here, is this just a fad? Is, you know, pickleball going to go away or is it here to stay? It's a fun and sport. It's, once it reaches, I haven't once tried it reaches it, Wall Street time. research, which is like pretty granular, <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe it's peak pickleball, but I would argue maybe I, people are having fun with it. Yeah, and Brooke, you you were an early adopter, just everyone in the audience is very you have clear. To bring you were it an up. early adopter to pickleball. You've I been mean, talking about it for years longer than for we For years, have. I mean, when I was in middle school, they lowered the volleyball net, foot slid inside, might have gotten a concussion. We're over it. Don't know if I'll be trying pickleball anytime soon.